Hollywood loves movies about money. As a follow-up to both of the Wall Street films, as well as Margin Call and others, a new film about the trading community is about to be in the spotlight this weekend. Eric Childress, our film guy, is here. Good to have you on the show, and the film is called Arbitrage. Will it be a yeah. winner? Uh, well, it's not getting a very uh, big launch this weekend. Um, it was a premiere of the Sundance Film Festival. We got pretty good reviews there. I've seen it. It's, it is a pretty good movie. Uh, it stars Richard Gere as the sort of Wall Street hotshot who has hedged a few too many of his bets, uh, now owes $400 million into his account and has to work through a merger and a death on his hands. Uh, so it's a pretty good film, but it's not getting a very w wide launch like a lot of Sundance films, so don't expect it to break into the top ten. Sounds like an art imitating life <laughs> here, but this is definitely what our crowd will be watching for mm -hmm. because I know a lot of traders can actually repeat every word in right. Wall Street to you right now. Well, this one cold. is more about sort of the, uh, the metaphors of Wall Street more than necessarily the, the everyday goings on. There's a lot more family stuff, and uh, it's, def it's definitely one that's going to raise some eye eyebrows. Uh, it's very much in the vein of Bonfire of the Vanities from, from way back when, so you know, keep an eye on that. Do these movies tend to do well that are about money? Well, I mean, the Wall Street movies, you know, d did pretty well. The last, uh, the sequel uh, did pretty well for Oliver Stone. Uh, Margin Call did relatively successful as being a, a limited range. Uh, there was a film a few years ago called The Company Men that uh, had Ben Affleck and Time Lee Jones in it. Uh, didn't do very well. So a lot of these films don't get the wide launch. They just come from the festivals. Also coming out this weekend along with Arbitrage is Finding Nemo 3D, and it's mm -hmm. the same old Nemo, right? It's the same old Nemo now converted, Just in 3D. Into, converted into 3D and uh, expected to do pretty well this weekend. I mean, it's hard to find anyone who is not a fan of Finding Nemo. He's and cute. He, well, it's a great movie, too. And we saw just a year ago Lion King 3D did $94 million. And since then, you know, Beauty and the Beast did about half that in January. And this is part of Disney's plan that they, ever since The Lion King, they got Beauty and the Beast, they got this, they got Monsters Incorporated, which they just moved from uh, January into December this year to take advantage of the holidays. Mm -hmm. Everyone is moving up their 3D releases. They're liking the 3D out there. Yeah. The audiences are good with it. Okay, Resident Evil, what about this film? Uh, Resident Evil, uh, I believe it's called Retribution. It's hard to keep up with the, the extended titles of these things. Uh, it's been kind of a, you know, this series has become kind of a quiet little moneymaker for Sony and Screen Gem. And they don't screen to film critics they, like this, not so you've since, not seen this not, film. No, not since 2002. They haven't screened one of these films for critics, so they don't really care what we say, but the last film did almost $300 million worldwide. The series in general has done $675 million worldwide. You put one more film under their belt, and you're probably looking at a billion-dollar franchise here. They're big winners. Good yeah. to be in the show today. That's Eric Childress. Thanks Thank for you. helping us out.